everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the Kishiri Series 04 DX Tiger Lance from Kishi Sentai Ryu Soldier. So this is our fourth mecha. It is a green saber tooth tiger, which is a weird color for a saber tooth tiger, but I like it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, nice group shot there on the top. On the bottom, not too much going on. Uh, we got a new Ryu Soul as well, included in the box. And then this just shows all the combinations. Well, at least one of the combinations you can make. So this is Kishirio Tiger Lance, as you can see there on the side. So it's pretty cool. I love getting more mecha. I'm very excited for these crazy combinations. There's so many different connector ports it shows here on the side. And then it just, these are some of the possible combinations. I believe the instructions actually show us how to make most of these. <laughs> I like this little robot one that they made. I'll have to try to do that myself. That's pretty funny. So very excited to check this out. Let's go ahead and get out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So here's everything in the box, uh, exactly as it comes in the box. We'll take a quick look at the Ryu Soul. I really like the color green. It's a really sharp color green. Love the head sculpt there for the combined mecha. That just looks really, really cool. The orange eyes go really well with the silver and the green. And then you get a little bit of yellow accent there on the side. I love that face design. Really, really well done. And I think the little helmet is also pretty cool. Has the cat ears, which I like. Gold paint here for the weapon. Go ahead and close it up. I think that's pretty cool. Again, I think the metallic orange eye goes great with the silver and the green. So, really like this Ryu Soul. Definitely one of my favorites. Gonna go ahead and put him off to the side. And we'll concentrate on the mecha itself. So, this is how you get it in the box. This is the tiger. Looks like he's flying. <laughs> Just go ahead. Flip the legs down. Very simple. And again, he's got some nice silver paint. A little bit of gold paint as well. Nice orange paint there for the eye. I think he looks really sharp. I like it quite a bit. Really, really cool. So what they want you to do, these all come apart. This is one, this is one, this is one. But they want you to just take off one. And then you go ahead and connect this to the back like this. This gets connected here on the side. And then this goes on the other side because it's like a knight with a lance. So the lance is on the side. I guess technically you could take this little dude, peg him in here like this. Uh, if you put the piece here in the back in between two it tends to stand a little bit better although it's kind of difficult to get it in there so come on there we go so there you go he's kind of riding the tiger with the lance it, it kind of works but it doesn't oh also i forgot to check b005 so there you go i forgot to look at the number so putting that back off to the side uh, i think it's cool i definitely like having the lance on the side i think that's pretty cool um, and again, you can do whatever you want. I kind of think this looks cool. If we take this, put this on like this, put this over here for symmetry, and then just put this, oops, drop it first, obviously. Go ahead and put this on top. I kind of like the look of that. And again, you know, with all these different ports, you can do whatever you want. So, I do like the standard configuration they tell you to use, but I think this is pretty cool too. And that way it's symmetric on both sides. Uh, another thing they want you to do, take this off, take this off, take this and open this up. This is kind of a softer plastic up here, but this makes little wings. And then you can peg this in up here. And then they want you to take the lance, and you can actually plug this part into the mouth like that and it's kind of like a uh, black lion from Voltron situation he's got the wings on top he's got a weapon in the side of his mouth you just put those legs back ready form feet and legs it's Voltron anyway <laughs> so that's just another configuration that they give you I think that looks pretty cool it's definitely a ridiculously oversized weapon but it still looks pretty neat so before we get to the full mecha combinations I wanted to just take a look at the reuse soul quick so we'll go ahead and pop this into the changer. <laughs> so 
So standard uh, transformation jingle there. So it says Tiger Lance, but it sounds a little weird. I feel like it trails off as like Tiger uh, at the end of the word. But either way, there it is in the changer. Not too bad. Go ahead and try it in the sword next. So it says green. So because it's a transformation soul, you actually get the same attack sound for both ways, uh, but you do get... Green. Alright, so if you already have your mecha transformed into three amigos, as I do, uh, I'll start with this form first. First thing we're going to do, take the head out, unplug the T-Rex head, unplug these two arm pieces, and just kind of put all that stuff off to the side for the moment. Bring in your saber tooth tiger and literally dissect it completely. Take every piece apart. You can actually take the head off. That just pegs in. And then the body will split in half as well. So you're going to take each half of the body and peg that on to the arms. Just like this. You're going to take the sword or Lance, take the tiger head. I think that looks really cool. I don't know why, I just think that's neat. You're gonna go ahead and put that in his hand. You're going to take these two pieces and I'm gonna bring the arms up just to get them out of the way a smidge. Um, these pieces are going to peg in down here on the side of his legs. So go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna swing these back down. I'm going to open this up and this will peg into the chest and then of course you take the sole and drop it in there for the head so i have to say i think this is really cool <laughs> i like this quite a bit let me see if i can get an official name on this uh kishiryu o taiga lance so there you go it's really not that complicated it's just Kishiryuo Tiger Lance. Not very creative, but I still think it's cool. I love the color scheme. I think all these four colors really jive well together. I like the crazy tiger head sword. I think that's kind of cool. Um, also, these things give kind of like a weird Wolverine claw type vibe, which could be cool. So, I like it. I think it's neat. Definitely love the color scheme. And I love that head design. I think that works really well. And overall, I just think it's a cool form. Plus, it's kind of like four knights, almost. Um, I did say three amigos earlier. It's, it's three knights. Three amigos is when they're all in the three dinosaurs together, not the mecha. But in any case, it's kind of like a four knights, because uh, you have parts of all four. So, very, very neat. Alright, so another configuration the instructions give you, I've removed everything except the head. You're going to take these two pieces, which were on the side of the legs, and they're now going to go on the side of the arms. Some cool gauntlets. There we go. Then you're going to take the piece of the uh, body that does not have the neck for the head, flip these around uh, like this, okay? Then you're going to take these two drill sections and flip them onto each side. 
And then you're going to take this gun section and peg this on here. There we go, peg that in there. So you can see here that the like paws of the saber tooth tiger had some cannons hidden in there, which is actually pretty cool. And then you're going to peg this entire section onto the chest. So that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, I think that is, let me just double check the directions here. Yes, so that is kind of a crazy chest cannon mode. This mode doesn't have a name as far as I can tell looking at the instructions, but I like it. I think it's kind of neat. Definitely a heavy artillery mode, so very cool. And again, if you want to put more things on here, um, you know, you could pop one of these on here or put these pieces back on if you really wanted to. You can pretty much do whatever you want, which is really the funnest part of this toy line. So you can just, whatever you can come up with, if they click and you can connect them, you can do it. So I think this is a really cool mode. So the last uh, form the directions show us is actually with Tiramigo in T-Rex form, which is pretty cool. So they have you take the half of the body that has the neck, and they want you to remove the two guns from Tiramigo here. You're going to peg one in here, and then you're going to peg in the other one underneath. So he's got two guns like this with the legs who also have guns pointing forward. And then you're going to go ahead and peg this in right here. And that gives him kind of like a giant gun backpack. And then you can take these two and peg these, which one on the bottom? Yes, on this side. Why is this not going on? There you go, just have to line it up. There you go. So you put those on the side just for a little pop of color, I guess. But he's got a cool little cannon. So it gives Tiramigo a little bit extra firepower, which is pretty cool. So I really love this guy. At first I was a little skeptical with another saber-toothed tiger. I don't really like when other random prehistoric animals like mastodons and such get tossed into dino seasons. There's enough dinosaurs, I'd rather they just stick with dinosaurs. But I have to say, with this guy in hand, I absolutely have been convinced. He's great. I love the color scheme. I think the design of the tiger is great. All the combinations with Kishi Ryuo are great. The Ryu Soul is great. I don't really have anything to complain about. I think he's really fun, and he's an excellent addition of more parts for these crazy combinations that you can dream up. So I would definitely recommend picking him up, especially if you already have the other three. And I also believe that he's definitely substantial enough to be sold on his own, whereas I feel like Ankyrose and Trican were smaller, so it made sense to bundle those two together. This guy is definitely enough bang for your buck, so I definitely recommend picking this up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.